Did you know that some of the stars' names are found in the Bible? God created all the stars and He knows each one by its name. God used the star to get the attention of very important scholars in today's story. We often refer to them as magis or the wise men. They lived in a country far away from Israel and the Bible says they came from the east. They were studying stars at night and one in the evening they saw a new star. These men knew what the stars usually look like, but this new star was different. Curious to know what the new star could mean, the wise men may have read the book of Daniel from the Old Testament to learn more about it. Daniel had written about the king of the Jews who was to come. This king must be important if a new star appeared in the sky in honor of his birth. Remember, Jesus is king. So God had placed a star in the sky to announce to the world the birth of his son. God wanted these men to find the king. So the wise men decided they would go to see the newborn king and worship him. They packed their bags for the long journey, also remembering to pack gifts for the king. They traveled towards Israel because that was where the star was. After months of travel, they arrived in Jerusalem. They asked, where is the one who has been born the king of the Jews? They saw his star when it rose and we have come to worship him. Jesus is king. But soon King Herod, the king who lived in Israel at the time, heard about these men. When he heard the wise men's question, he was troubled. He was the king. Who is this other king they're asking about? And is he going to take away my throne? So Herod sent for the chief priests and scribes. The chiefs and uh, the priests and scribes were Jewish religious leaders, and they told Herod that about 700 years ago, the prophet Micah said that the king of the Jews would be born in Jerusalem. Herod knew the Jews were waiting for a king to come, and he was afraid of losing his throne, and that he wouldn't be king anymore. But what he and many of the Jews didn't know or understand was that God was sending them a king to um, that's also a savior from our sin. The Jews were looking for a king who would get rid of the Roman government, um, which is the people who ruled over the Jews at the time and you know get rid of King Herod. But the Jews didn't understand that the king that was coming for them was far more important. And that he had a purpose and a reason. He was coming to save them from their sins. And do you know that Jesus came to earth to save you from your sin and my sin too? This story isn't just for the Jews thousands of years ago. It still applies to you and me. But Herod at the time didn't understand all of this. So secretly, Herod sent for the wise men. He asked them, when did you first see the star? The wise men told Herod when they first saw the new star and Herod said to them, you know what? The prophet told, wrote that the king of the Jews would be born in Bethlehem. Why don't you go and, you know, search for him until you find him and then bring me back the news to me so I can worship him too. But Herod wasn't really telling the truth. He wasn't planning on worshiping Jesus. He wanted to kill Jesus. The wise men, not knowingly, went off on their journey to look for baby Jesus excitedly. The amazing thing is as they went, God had placed that star to guide them and move in the sky until it stopped over the place where Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus um, were staying at. The wise men gave expensive gifts to Jesus. They brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold was a gift given to royalty for like kings and queens. Frankincense was a spicy smelling incense used when God's people gave offerings to it and myrrh was a sweet-smelling perfume. The wise men bowed down and worshiped Jesus, King of the Jews. Later that night, in a dream, God warned the wise men not to go back to Herod. So in the morning, they went back to their own country, traveling in a different way than they came. God also warned Joseph of Herod's plan. In a dream, an angel told Joseph, get up, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. God had a plan to protect his son, Jesus. So Joseph left for Egypt with Mary and Jesus on that very evening. When the wise men didn't return to Herod, he was very angry. He thought someone was trying to take his throne away. Because he wasn't angry and some, you know, of a crazy man, he did a very sinful thing. 
He sent soldiers to Bethlehem to find Jesus and kill him. But Jesus was safe in Egypt. Not long after this, Herod had you know, died. Sometime later, an angel came to Joseph in a dream again and told him that it was safe to return to Israel. Joseph obeyed, taking, him, um, taking his family to Nazareth, where Jesus would grow up. How wonderful that God sent his son Jesus to be the savior of the world. Next week, we're going to hear the story of when Jesus was a young kid, just like you guys. This week, pray to Jesus and thank him for coming to earth to be the savior of our sins and of the world.